Hey, it's Terry Hatfield here, General Manager of Leisure RV Center of the Greater Houston area. We're blessed to have Nick Larios, Winnebago Industries, with us today, presenting some new product offerings, and um, thought it'd be nice to share it with you guys. Nick? Well, thank you so much. Glad to be here, and let's go ahead and hop into it. Hi, I'm Nick Larios and I'm from Winnebago. And today I am gonna walk you through the Adventure Wag, this brand new unique product that's taking the industry by storm. Let's go ahead and check it out. This is a really unique platform because what we wanted to do is make it easy for you know DIYers, person who wants to make their own conversion van. And this is where it came from. We partnered up with a company called Adventure Wagon. They're actually based out of Portland, Oregon, and this is what they kind of do for a living. Um, so a lot of the items in here is, is things that we get from them, uh, but we also kind of flavored in a little bit um, to make this more appealing um, when it comes down to battery banks and when it comes down to a refrigerator. So again, this is a different coach. This has no conventional plumbing, no true coach battery. So let's hop inside and I'll show you a few things. So the adventure wagon, you can see everything is pretty much modular, right? We have L tracks throughout the entire sides, the roof, the sides of the coach and the, on the floor. So what does that mean? That means that floor plans become endless. I can rearrange this however way I want. Or if I say, hey, I need to use, I need to take this galley, um, galley out and I want to use this as a people mover, I could be able to do that easy. So that's why this is such a unique product because again, it's basically we gave you the coloring book and now you're able to color in what colors you want in that coloring book. So that's huge. You know, so we start off from the top, I uh, start off with the walls and we'll talk about the uh, bags here. So behind the walls, uh, we have three layers of insulation. We have a wool um, type insulation behind it. There is a small uh, th foil layer as well as a 3M insulate. So it keeps it nice and warm or cool um, throughout the summer months. Um, the bags, these are called mule bags. Pretty cool. Um, I have a bunch of pockets here. There's pockets underneath here. There's a little hooks to hang things up. Um, there's also, as you can see in the inside of them, that's where the bolts are located. So you can, again, move these around um, to different areas. So if you wanna move them to the back of the coach or the front of the coach, they're very easy to do so. We'll Working our way up to the top, we have a few puck lights. So in the overland space, these are pretty popular. So again, you could turn them on and off. They're all individually, um, controlled you could either you could also dim them so if you press and hold them they dim but also at night so you know, so you know that early morning you don't have that harsh light you could turn them red so again you can be able to do that for your, every single one now as i said before there's no true coach battery switch everything is actually wired directly into the chassis battery so your usb ports your lights and your max air vent run directly from that chassis battery. But we're gonna talk about the battery in the back here in a second, but again, anything throughout this coach can easily be ran off of the uh, chassis battery itself. So this um, little chair here, this chair can be moved out. Um, it is a three point seat belt here um, that is attached and it's easily could be removed by just pulling on these little tabs here and then it could be uh, placed anywhere throughout the coach. The one beauty of this is that, you know, there's several, several outfitters out there that create, you know, jackknife sofas, extra sleeping spaces. So this is actually called a smart floor. And what the benefit of that is that, again, everything is pull tested and for safety. So that's where this floor is very unique. Um, and what you can actually ensure that, you know, the customers are safe with their gear or if they decide to bring other people. Coming towards the back, we have our galley space here. Um, so this is a pretty unique little area. So we don't have a fresh water tank, but like a true conventional fresh water tank. This is our fresh water tank. Pretty cool. It's easy. It's an easy solution for somebody who needs water while they're traveling or they're camping or anything like that. And then our spigot for this guy. It's actually, look, it's still in the box. 
All right, so this, uh, the, with the five gallon will come with our faucet here. It is rechargeable, basically you just double press on the top of it. Um, I always have guys that joke around, the, or you know, uh, people joke about this where, oh yeah, I'm gonna use it for my cocktails because it'd be a great solution for that or my, a bit more of a keg, but no, this is specifically for, um, your, for your water use. But you know, people buy these by the dozen just because again, there's no actual plumbing in here and I don't have to winterize a coach. How easy of a solution that is because for me I actually have one of these and I use this as basically a pickup truck um, I went and you know I could easily go buy a TV or if I need to go to um, Home Depot and buy cabinets a great a great little van to be able to um, to use almost like you know a moving truck or a pickup truck or anything like that okay I'm just put that back uh, the one thing I do want to point out, so I'm going to open up this cabinet where you, if you can come see over here, um, there's small little bolts. That's where you can go ahead and um, loosen up those brackets or the bolts that connect directly to the smart floor where you can move this to the other side. So again, as I said, all of this is very modular. Um, we had two of these at a, at a specific show a few years ago and we were able to completely change up the floor plan within about 20 minutes. I put all the cabinets on one side, I put this over here, or I took some things over there, but again, in 20 minutes, I was able to uh, completely rearrange this entire floor plan. Alrighty, I'm going to put this over here. Uh, to the right here, we'll have our 12-volt compressor-driven refrigerator. Um, this is something that we are providing with this coach. Um, basically, it can run off of two different ways. You can plug it in to the 12-volt uh, outlet located here on the right. Um, or you can plug it into the EcoFlow, which we'll talk about when we get to the back of the coach. On this side, um, we also do have a small um, stand for a sink. So our little sink basin here, let's get it out. Basically, that can go here. So with our faucet, you can be able to wash your hands and um, do what you need. So pretty easy. Underneath here is a small little step or a seat here, but underneath here you'll have also you'll also have a small little three cassette, uh, three gallon uh, porta potty throughout here. All right. Now we talked about a few things. We talked about the adventure, uh, the mule bags. Now this is where it gets really fun. This is what we call a Moab bed. This is where you know, hey, I don't need this big of a bed. You know, it's just myself. Uh, I'm going on a short trip, but because I really want more gear in here, right? I want to be able to use this and um, have more stuff in here, and rather than actually this taking up space. So when I want to do that, come over here. I can find it. There we go. Found it. There's a small zipper that you can unhook the mattress. So we're just going to put this up here for now, and pretend that we're leaving this at home. There we go. So this is basically your platform. There's two small little locking mechanisms. One there, one there. And then all I need to do, put them together and take it out. How easy is that? Now look how much more floor space I have. So I could bring my gear, I could bring my bikes. I can bring, um, this was a moving truck for me actually at one point when I moved from Florida to Texas. And let me tell you, it was an easy, easy move because again, I had so much floor space. I had so much area that I could be able to um, bring the stuff that I couldn't bring on my moving truck. So, so again, you can leave that at home. Another really cool thing that I've thought of is, you know, maybe it's a family of four, right? I need four, I need two probably sleeping spaces. Actually, you, what a customer could do or what you guys could do is be able to purchase another set or another um, platform and Moab bed. You could raise this up a little bit and now in a 22 foot coach, you can have bunk beds. That's huge. There's nothing else out there that has bunk beds in a van. So again, you could raise this little this guy up, raise the platforms up, the mattress up, and then you can go ahead and purchase another one towards the bottom to really, now you can have bunk beds. So there's tons and tons of aftermarket pieces on this coach, and it's why it makes it so unique and why I love this thing. Alrighty, so now I want to point out a few, we do provide a few D-rings here. Let me if I can get them off, there we go. Basically, you can hook them up here. You hook them up anywhere, actually. And what I've actually seen is, you know, there's a few different ways I've, I've seen people use these. Um, one, obviously, to hang up stuff or to tie things down to the side of the coach or the roof or the floor. But there's actually children that have, or there's actually an accessory that you could buy children's uh, swing set in here. 
or I've seen customers who said, hey, rather than needing a bed, because I don't want to use the space, let's actually put up some D-rings and put the, a hammock in here. So again, it's we gave you a platform so then you can decide how you want to build it. It made it an easy button because you're buying something from a manufacturer and you can have it now rather than waiting so many months. Moving up to the front, I just want to show you a few things up here. We do have a small little pocket here. We added this up to, um, to add more storage capabilities. And these are going to be your front co window covers for your nightshades uh, or for your, yeah, your nightshade for the front uh, cab area. So in the back of the adventure wagon, we also do provide an EcoFlow. EcoFlow is basically a generator, inverter, uh, battery bank, um, electric battery bank that will be able to run a lot of the appliances or anything else that you would like to purchase that, uh, you know, and that could be hooked up to directly to here. It's pretty cool. It's about 3.5 kilowatt hours. Um, so again, it runs for a very long time. There's a few different ways that you could actually charge it um, that I've done. One, lift this thing up. It's probably about 60 to 70 pounds, so it is pretty heavy. You could actually plug it in directly um, into a wall outlet. Um, you could also do another way is you could, um, it actually is a solar plug-in on the back side of it as well. And number three that I've tested, I've actually plugged it in um, with a 12 volt adapter directly into the chassis while I was driving. Because again, there's no secondary alternator underneath the hood. There's nothing that's necessarily charging this thing. Um, so roughly, on about a two hour drive, it went from 10% to about 60% in about a two hour time frame. So I think that's pretty efficient and it works pretty well. And then I'll also give you some other numbers is, um, I've actually tested that refrigerator, just through refrigerator solely, um, to run off of this EcoFlow. And I saw that it ran for about an, uh, actually a full week and it still had about 30% left. So again, that's, that's huge. Being able to plug in maybe a portable air conditioner or maybe a possibly a portable heater, because again, it's a small little space and I, I don't want to hack into the system. So being able just to plug in like a small space heater, especially in the winter time is great. Um, going from top to the bottom here, we're going to turn this guy on. So I love about this is that I can get some real time analytics, right? I can get how many days are left on this battery. Um, I can get some uh, percentages what the number of input of watts, the output of watts on here. Um, when I'm charging it, it'll show, you know, it's getting somewhat of a charge. Um, USB-A outlets, we have some fast charging outlets, USB-Cs, um, 110 outlets, um, and as well as a 30 amp plug-in. Um, what's also, I, I could talk about this all day when this battery, um, you could actually run these in parallel. So let's just say, hey, I need an air conditioner in this guy, um, but I want more battery banks. So you could plug up to three of those sizes up to about 10 kilowatt hours. So you could have three of them running directly in parallel of each other and they'll kind of balance out how the power is getting drawn out. Um, yeah, and again, this is a really, really cool product, especially because you can be able to monitor everything on an app. So again, guys, this is something different. This is something that not a lot of people are doing in this space. But again, if you want to convert your own coach this is the easy button. You could be able to get this easily um, insured because it's an RVIA certified coach. You're looking for something easy, your DIY, a moving van, a people mover, but you still wanna go camping and take the family to places, this is the way to go. The adventure wagon is built on the Mercedes-Benz chassis. So this is gonna be the 3.0 V6, seven speed automatic transmission with 188 horsepower but it has all the safety features that you know you could possibly think of. Adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, um, lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring, every bell and whistle that you can think of to really enhance the driver experience, it's on this coach. Now, the only other option on this is gonna be either a two-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive. So the on-demand four-wheel drive, all you have to do is flip the switch inside and then you're on the, and you're ready to go. Thank you for joining me today and walking through the adventure wagon 170 SC. Um, if you're again, if you're looking for something different, you want to be modular. You want to make your own floor plans. You want to be able to take things in and out, and again, still enjoy the RV experience or the RV lifestyle. Then this is the van to go to. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for joining in. I hope you learned something today, and we'll see you down the road.